All right, y'all, welcome back. I know I'm a day late and a dollar short, you know, with these reviews on offense and defense, but, hey, you're going to get them anyway. And uh, we're just going to stop. We're going to actually do it a little different. We're going to just kind of go through by position, you know, on offense and defense. Uh, this will be the offensive video. You can find a defensive video probably in about an hour or two on the channel, so be looking for that. And no further, you know, we're going to start with Jameis Winston. Obviously, Jameis balled out, went crazy. Um, I'm sure you've seen the videos, the stats, the highlights, all of that right now. So it's not really much more I can say on him. I just think that was his best game as a Saint, obviously, because he, you know, hasn't really played. He threw that touchdown pass against the Bucks or whatnot. But I mean, that was obviously the best game I've seen from him. That's the best game I've seen from either him or Taysom. So obviously it puts him in a front runner seat for the quarterback situation, even though that's why I call it a situation. I'm not going to call it a competition right now because it's more of a situation at this point because – Everybody kind of knows, you know, which leads me right into Taysom. I think he started off the little game a little shaky. I think um, with it being a competition, Jameis had him shook up a little bit. Not going to lie. I could see it in his eyes. See, you just read his face, and, you know, he wasn't prepared to play after Jameis just lit the lit the scene up. Uh, I did think he finished well, though. So, I mean, that's positive. He, he's still a solid quarterback, and if he had to come in and play three or four games, you know, in a stretch like last year, I'm, I'm very confident in his ability to to do that, Ian Book didn't play, which kind of surprised me. Um, don't know why he didn't play, but uh, Simeon got some snaps. Uh, I don't think he's, you know, going to be a huge factor in this. He may be a practice squad player or may. I'm sure he's going to play this last game, probably like a half. Him and Book are probably going to play half and half, you know, if uh, Winston and, and Taysom Hill are done. So he can get some film out there for some other teams or, you know, maybe he can make the practice squad for the Saints. You never know. Um, now moving on to the running backs. Not – a lot on that, obviously, Kamara didn't play again, which I am thankful for. I do not need to see him until the Green Bay Packers are on the field. Uh, Tony Jones Jr., he looked he looked all right, you know, didn't play a whole lot. I uh, think he got, like, two series under his belt, and, I mean, he had, like, five carries, 25 yards, which is pretty decent. Uh, didn't, didn't, you know, see a lot of the field. Murray, oh, man, I don't know. I think it may be over for Murray. Latavius Murray, he didn't look great. He... Made some wrong reads on some screen plays. Not really running as hard. So, uh, I think he's going to be out of there. Honestly, I think Jones is taking over that running back two spot. And it, it's just going to be his to lose. So, does that mean Murray's getting cut? I don't know. We'll have to see on that. But I do think Jones Jr. has taken over that number two role for sure. Now the wide receivers who, you know, some people say it's the weakest position on the team. I I would tend to agree, but that doesn't mean it's like, you know, weak just because it's our weakest position. But obviously, Marquez Callaway, absolutely nuts. Him and Jameis, two MVPs of that game. Um, we seen what he did. Don't need to see any more of him. He's wide receiver one until MT comes back. <clears throat> so that's that's a good thing for a quarterback to have, you know, a wide receiver that they can trust and go to. That's, that's going to be big for Jameis, uh, you know, when the season starts and things like that. Oh, excuse me, Jameis or Taysom, hand quotations in the air. But, yeah, that's going to be big, you know, for the quarterback to have a number one guy he can go to and the irony of him wearing number one, you know. I think LeJordan Humphrey, he had a real, real good game. Everything I read out of practice, he had a terrible, terrible week of practice with drops, wrong routes, this and that. And uh, he came back in the game and had a, a real good game, was the second best wide receiver. But that's just what I said last week about him. He's so inconsistent that you never know what you're going to get with him. And that's, you know, that's hard to – to have on your team or receiver, you don't know if he's going to be catching the ball today, you know if he's going to be the, looking like the best receiver in the world, you know, the next day, making great catches and stuff. So he needs to just get more consistent, you know, perfect his craft, and I think he'll be an easy lock, um, roster lock if he, if he does that. And speaking of drops, oh, man, I tweeted right before the game that Kevin White was like, he was one of the players I was watching closely, closely, closely in that game and came and got a drop. And in Sean Payton fashion, he's like, oh, I'm going to come right back to you and another drop. Hopefully that doesn't kill his chances. It's I mean, he's, like I said, former top 10 pick, do 6-3, runs 4-3. Like, he has all the tools, but I guess we're starting to see it's been the mental side of things. You know, former, maybe it's been his hands this entire time where he can't, you know, make these rosters and, and constantly get on the field. Hopefully he gets another chance uh, in this last preseason game because – I'm sure Traquan Smith, who hasn't played yet, or Marquez Callaway won't touch the field you know, in that final preseason game. So hopefully he gets out there. Which also leads me to my last point on the receivers. 
Where the hell are the young guys at? Um, it's it's kind of weird. Kawan Baker, Issa Winston. Like, I just, we haven't really seen them get involved. You know, I think they both have one catch apiece. But we re really haven't used them. I know we have a third preseason game. They're going to play a lot. So, we'll see what that brings and entails for them. But, I mean, I think those are guys fighting for roster spots. If you just count Traquan, Callaway, Deontay Harris, who suspended by the way, and things like that. Uh, these guys need reps because they're, they're going to have to play week one. So so we'll see. I think Issa Winston is going to make the team. He's been the only other punt returner, you know, which is Deontay Harris' job. So I think he's going to be good. But we, you know, drafted Kawan Baker. Really haven't seen a lot from him. Hopefully he starts this next game, and then we can see what they got for a full game situation. We also have the tight ends, who's kind of been disappointing this preseason. Um, Jawan Johnson had a good first game, was kind of, Meh, this second game only had one catch, I believe. But, I don't know, I, I expected much, much more from them, you know, in this uh, offseason, or preseason, I should say. But, I mean, the real concern is Nick Vanette went out with injury. Also, Troutman went out with injury. They're still trying to see how significant, you know, those injuries will be. I keep seeing a couple of weeks on both of those guys. So, hopefully they're back for week one, and, and, you know, we'll go from there. But it's not looking too good for that tight end position. So, we may have to look and bring to look into bring in outside help or inside help. You know, hint hint. The quarterback may have to, you know, transition down there to that tight end role. But we'll see. We'll see what that do. Um, because if Taysom doesn't win a quarterback, you know, competition, which it's looking like he won't, he'll probably be tight end one, which will open up the offense and it can bring some creativity. You know, you can do some extra things in there. You know, with uh, Taysom out there on the field, just him being on the field, not that quarterback creates. You know, uh, chaos for that defense. So we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, with them tight ends. Hopefully, they're they're healthy and they get back soon. Last but not least, the O line didn't want to touch on them much. You know, no one really likes to talk about the O line. It's not the sexy thing. But boy, them boys were good. Hey, the big guys up front, all five starters I think played excellent. I want to shout out Ruiz, who's you know second full year at right guard, who had an up and down rookie year. People gave him a lot of flack. And killed him, and I, I'll say rightfully rightfully so, first-round pick. But, man, he was changing positions, never played guard before, always was a center. I can tell that he's put in that work this year. He hasn't allowed, like, a pressure or, or, or in, uh, just a bad play in general, you know, this year. And I know it's only been two weeks of preseason, but Andres Pete, hey, man, hey, man, say, man, he's been looking decent. He's been looking decent. I'm only going to call it like I said. When you're playing bad, I'll say you're playing bad. But when you're actually balling – I won't say balling because he hasn't played enough, but when you're actually playing pretty good, hey, man, you're playing pretty good. And watch Ryan Ramchick on that deep throw to Marquez Callaway. He was blocking his ass off on that play. So, you know, respect to him. Him and Armstead are the best duo in the business, and they're going to have to uh, carry us a lot. So, man, that's the, that's the offensive wrap-up. By position, man, let me know what y'all thought about that game in the comments. We're going to have a quick turnaround to the Cardinals game. Hey, then it's almost regular season time. I can't wait for it. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. Boo Tragedies, and I'm out.